bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with a light from above, from the mountains to the prairies. To the oceans, wide with the foam. God bless America, my home, sweet home. God bless America. My home, sweet home. North Alabama is full of adventure. If you love food, we've got it. If you love festivals, we've got them. If you love the outdoors, we've got plenty of places to explore. Whatever you love, we're sure to have something for you. For all things North Alabama, check out NorthAlabama.org. It's bow time. You've probably heard folks say, don't call it a comeback. But at Bojangles, we don't like to beat around the bush. So when the sizzling, savory pork chop griller's back in all its tender, marinated, chili lime glory, and you can snap up two of them for six bucks, go ahead, call it a comeback. Get two legendary pork chop grillers for just six bucks, only at Bojangles. It's bow time. With a house surrounded by pine trees planted in 1961, April and I knew it was time to do something about it. So we called James Paul. With over 25 years in the business, James Paul Tree Service offers their knowledge and experience along with honesty and dependability, which gives you peace of mind when it comes to tree removal, tree cleanup, and clearing. Give James Paul a call at 256-777-0711. Before they fall, give James Paul a call. For those of us who are directly responsible for the care of loved ones, we want to do the very best we can to take care of them. This is where estate planning is so important. With estate planning, you can still take care of your loved ones even when you're gone. I encourage you to make a plan by going to BamaEstatePlanning.com. Harlan Mitchell has all the tools you need to make a solid plan for your family just like I did. That's BamaEstatePlanning.com. Make a plan and do it today. No representation is made that the quality of legal services to be performed is greater than the legal services performed by other lawyers. Boutique Air in Muscle Shoals, Alabama offers direct flights to Atlanta and Pensacola. Boutique Air service runs twice daily, seven days a week with fares starting at $59. Follow Boutique Air Muscle Shoals on Facebook at Boutique Air MSL and book your flight through BoutiqueAir.com. Boutique Air. Where you can fly private for the cost of commercial. Hey everybody, this is Daryl Worley, and you're listening to The Mark White Show. Hey, step up and make a difference like he does. This old world is full of hurt and pain A little sunshine and a whole lot of rain It don't take much to drive those clouds away Let's all do something good today You never know what someone's going through Don't underestimate what you can do A friendly smile's a tiny price to pay Let's all do something good today Welcome to another edition of the Mark White Show. Glad you can be with us today. A few weeks ago, I had Heather Begley on the program from Shoals Casa. And Shoals Casa connected me with the Exchange Club of Florence, Alabama. I have on the line with me right now, Bert Bretherick, and he is with the Exchange Club of Florence. Welcome to the Mark White Show, Bert. Thank you, Mark. Glad to be here. So those who don't know what the Exchange Club is, can you share a background of the Exchange Club and what you all are doing there in Florence, Alabama? 
Sure. The The Florence Exchange Club is part of, uh, well, the Exchange Club is a national organization, but the Florence Exchange Club is one of the oldest service organizations in the state. We're actually celebrating our 100th year anniversary this year. So we're real excited about that. Um, you know, the Exchange Club is made up of a, just a, a group of local individuals, business people, um, just people, ordinary people in the community that are just committed to serve others. And what is it about the Exchange Club that drew you to it? What was the initial knowledge that you had of the Exchange Club and how did you get involved? Yeah, well, the Exchange Club, primarily we have two focuses that we really uh, work with. One is we put our time, resources, and money behind preventing child abuse and supporting families in need. And the other one is promoting patriotism. So if you've been by Dybert Park or if you've seen the flags downtown, the Florence Exchange Club is responsible for the flags at Dybert Park and when we put the flags up downtown. So just within those two things alone uh, is what drew me to the to the Exchange Club. We, you know, uh, I've got a heart for children and I love this country. Those are the two main things the Exchange Club stands for. Well, and as I mentioned, the connection with Heather Begley with Shoals Casa, that connection is very important when it comes to helping kids through the court system. And I know Heather is very passionate about the work she does as a former social worker. It's very important that she gets these kids in the place where they need to be to get them to where they belong. And Shoals Casa is an amazing organization that has a lot of great volunteers who try to help those kids in the Shoals area. Absolutely. And we, we, we're delighted to work real closely with Shoals Casa, uh, the Florence Attention Homes, um, you know, any anyone or any outlet that serves our community. Um, you know, we're, we're always delighted and we think Casa does a great job, too. We're, we're real excited to work with Heather. So how large is the Exchange Club of Florence? How many people sure. would you say are involved there with the Exchange Club? Yeah, I would say we, we're right now, we're probably at about 50 members and we're probably at about 35 active members that are, you know, there uh, on a weekly basis and involved in what we're doing every day. Excellent. And you all meet, y'all have a meeting time there at the Shoals Marriott. When does that take place? Yeah, we meet every Tuesday and uh, at high noon. And uh, so, you know, we start serving lunch um, probably about 1130 or so. And we have a speaker each week. And it's usually someone from the community someone who is actively serving or helping or information related speaker, you know, like a a mayor or a state representative just kind of updating us on what's going on. So it's usually a a great meeting. We're out of there by one o'clock for those folks who are, you know, have to get back to work. What are some of the efforts, Bert, that you have really been inspired by that the exchange club has gotten involved in? You know, there's so many things. Uh, One of the, you know, Primarily, the thing that impressed me most about the Exchange Club is, you know, we are committed to giving all the money we raise during the year away. Um, so, you know, at, at any meeting that you would come and attend, there's a good chance we're handing out one of those giant checks, you know, followed up by an envelope with a real one in it to uh, either the Salvation Army, uh, you know, the Healing Place. Um, you know, the list just goes on and on. We're just a group of individuals who work, who want to help the community. I mean, that's one of the things that we talk about in our board meetings is, you know, our goal and, and we, you know, even in our opening prayer of, of our board meetings, you know, our goal is help us to find new ways to serve more people in our community. And uh, that, that's what I'm impressed with with these folks. This is not about you know, building up a big bank account. It's about how can we take the money that we do raise and give it to others. So when you all see a need, you go and find a way to fill the need and cover many different needs out in the community, correct? That's correct. I mean, whatever the need is. And and one of the neat things, and and listen, in other sort of service organizations, it's, it's probably the same way, but you know, there there may be even times when a need arises outside of what we've already budgeted for, and the members of the of the group just you know open up their checkbooks and their wallets and make it happen. So 
so uh, that's what's impressive about this group of people. In a couple of days, Bert, I'm going to be having Jalen Owens on the program. And Jalen, she is nine going on 10 years old. And at seven years old, she decided that she wanted to help children in Lauderdale County who were foster children. And then to tie into that, of course, I had Heather Begley on the program with Shoals Casa to talk about the Rogersville Gives Back 2021 fundraising effort for gifts for children in the Shoals. And then, of course, as you know, we lost Sergeant Nick Reisner in Sheffield. Sheffield police officer lost his life. He was very diligent when it came to helping young people. And last Christmas, he actually reached out to Shoals Angels and was wrapping presents and going and shopping for presents. He was shopping for presents, wrapping presents, him and Max Dotson, who was also involved in the shooting. We have a lot of people out there who step up to the plate when it comes to our young people. And it sounds like the Exchange Club of Florence is there for those types of efforts to say, hey, we're in your corner and we want to support and we want to back up Shoals Angels and other organizations who are showing that they care about the community. And that's correct. I mean, we're, you know, like I said, we are eager and, and always uh, wanting to help any, any, any organization outside of, of what we're already doing, you know, that needs a hand. So, Bert, what I want to do is take a quick break. And when we come back, I want to actually talk about a fundraiser that's coming up in November with Brody Croyle. And it is a prayer breakfast that is hosted by the Exchange Club, and they have Brody coming for this, and then also talk about how people can connect, especially those who are in the Florence area, with the Exchange Club of Florence. Will you stick with me? Yes, sir. Thank All you right. very much. Right now, we're talking to Burt Bretherick with the Exchange Club of Florence. I hope that you'll stick with us as we continue this conversation and talk about the work that the Exchange Club of Florence, Alabama is doing in the Shoals area. You are listening to The Mark White Show, and I'm your host, Mark White. A little wink, a pat on the back, a big old hug. A little laugh, we can make a difference. All we have to do is try. Every day's a chance to change somebody else's life. Let's all do something good today. It's bow time. You've probably heard folks say, don't call it a comeback. But at Bojangles, we don't like to beat around the bush. So when the sizzling, savory pork chop griller's back in all its tender, marinated, chili lime glory, and you can snap up two of them for six bucks, go ahead, call it a comeback. Get two legendary pork chop grillers for just six bucks, only at Bojangles. It's bow time. North Alabama is full of adventure. If you love food, we've got it. If you love festivals, we've got them. If you love the outdoors, we've got plenty of places to explore. Whatever you love, we're sure to have something for you. For all things North Alabama, check out NorthAlabama.org. No representation is made that the quality of legal services to be performed is greater than the legal services performed by other lawyers. Losing a loved one is hard, but losing a loved one and not having an estate plan is even harder. Attorney Harlan Mitchell witnessed what not having an estate plan can do to families and decided to use his experience to do something about it. I encourage you to go to BamaEstatePlanning.com or give Harlan Mitchell a call at 256-216-9884. Again, that website is BamaEstatePlanning.com. Let Harlan Mitchell help you with estate planning. Do it for those you love and do it today. Experience the difference at Athens Bible School. The vision and purpose is to provide each student a quality education in a Christ-centered environment to develop the whole person spiritually, mentally, physically, and socially in safe and supportive surroundings. The solid biblical foundation permeates learning and culture in the classrooms and every extracurricular activity. Thompson Roofing and Construction is a locally owned family business serving the North Alabama and Southern Tennessee area. They are a Better Business Bureau A-plus member since 2011 and a GAF Master Elite contractor. Give them a call at 256-952-3309 
or check them out on the web at 256roofing.com. They offer free inspections. Thompson Roofing and Construction. Mr. Cecil Batchelor is the one that started this business as Dependable Service Center. And even though now it's Green's Dependable Hardware and we're a true value store, our tagline is still your Dependable Service Center. We've tried to keep that alive for all these years. Mr. Batchelor really started a good business. We're really excited to be carrying on a long-standing tradition. It's the oldest retail store in the city of Russell. We're Green's Dependable Hardware, 15220A, Highway 43 in Russellville. Alabama. We're right behind McDonald's or right across the street from the hospital. Number is 256-331-0123. The Dependable Service Center. Hi, I'm Crystal Gale, and you're listening to The Mark White Show. And one smile can make a difference. Na 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 Someone loves you, I do He drives into the city Works extra hard all day Finishes up early So he can get away Cause there's a blue-eyed kid on second base Wants dad to watch him play Daddy knows he's Welcome back to the Mark White Show. Right now I have Burt Bretherick on the program with me, and we're talking about the Exchange Club of Florence, Alabama. Thanks to Heather Begley making the connection through Shoals Casa, she connected me with Burt, and here we are today talking about the special work the Exchange Club of Florence, Alabama is doing in the Shoals area. Welcome back to the Mark White Show, Burt. Thank you, Mark. Uh, again, thank you for having me on. You're welcome. It's interesting because four years ago now, Bert, I was down at the Big Oak Ranch and I was meeting with John Croyle in his office to talk about some ideas I had, a nonprofit that I was trying to start. As I was talking to John, I was a little bit nervous. He can be an intimidating type of fella. And I was sitting there across from his desk, and he said, you know, Mark, you really don't know what you want to do. (laughs) And he really hit me in the heart. It upset me, but he was right. John helped to inspire me to start focusing on what I really needed to be doing. And it was the very next month. This was on October 4th, 2017, that I was meeting with John. And November 3rd, 2017 is when the Mark White Show began. I really decided to focus my energy on what I could do. And that was another statement that another friend told me. He said, you know, do what's doable. I focused my time and energy on the Mark White Show and trying to recognize difference makers and share stories to encourage. And, of course, the Exchange Club of Florence, Alabama is right on that list now. But it's interesting, and I'm saying all that to say that Brody is coming to the Shoals, and this is a fundraiser, and his dad... I'm sure if you talk to Brody right now and he was in the conversation, what the impact of his dad having that type of person to say, you really don't know what you're doing. You need to get focused and figure out what you want to do with yourself and then have an effect on a young man like Brody to make a difference in his life to do what he's doing today for Big Oak Ranch himself. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, you know, what's interesting about this is, you know, our One Nation Under God prayer breakfast is an annual event for us, um, and we and we do it not necessarily as a as a fundraiser, but we do it primarily as a community service. Uh, if we make any money at all, we'll you know we'll just disperse it back into the community or make an additional donation to to the Big Oak Ranch. Um, but you know, about five years ago, John was our speaker for this. And, uh, you know, I agree with you. He's an, he can be an intimidating guy, but he was also one of the best speakers that, uh, that I believe we've ever had. So yes. we're really excited to have Brody this year. That is great. And as I mentioned now, Brody is the executive director of Big Oat Ranch, former Alabama and Kansas City Chiefs quarterback. And this event's coming up. It's a breakfast. How are ticket sales going right now, Bert? Ticket sales are going great. As a matter of fact, we anticipate selling out in the next couple of weeks of course we're you know we're halfway through october now but uh you know our capacity for this event is is 500 
and we're right at the 400 mark now. So we are, uh, we're, we're excited about that, but we also want everyone to go ahead. And if you, if you plan, plan to come or, or, or want to come and you haven't purchased your tickets, go ahead and reach out to us now so we can go ahead and get you a place reserved. Heather had messaged me a couple of weeks ago and asked if I was interested in going. And I said, of course. And so I'll be there on November 9th at the Marriott Conference Center. And other people who are listening right now might be interested in coming. And it sounds like there's still room for tables, which a table for eight is $200 and individual tickets $25. How can people find out more information about this prayer breakfast that's taking place, One Nation Under God Prayer Breakfast with Brody Coyle? on November the 9th. Yeah, that's right, Martin. They can go to the, uh, you, you could Google the Exchange Club of Florence and go to our website. All the information will be on our website of who to reach out to and who to contact. It's primarily my contact information. So yeah, I'll be happy to share that with you if that's okay. People can reach out with me via phone at 256-648-3470 uh, or, uh, via email at, uh, Bert and that's a Bert with a B B E R T at agent com, And we'd be happy to get them set up. And going back to the work of exchange club of Florence, Alabama, people can find out more information at exchange org. And this is faith community and country as the core values held by each member. And as you mentioned, you have 50 people who are members and then 35 active and people who want to become involved with this. What are the steps they need to take, Bert? Well, they could just come and visit um, one of our meetings on Tuesday at noon, uh, learn more about what we're doing. uh, And then it's just a process of going online, signing up to be a member. Uh, The great thing about being a member of the Florence Exchange Club, basically the the cost and the dues pretty much just covers your, your weekly lunch. So it's one of the most affordable uh, civic organizations that you can join in shows. Excellent. Bert Bretherick, it's been a real pleasure to have you here on the Mark White Show, and I want to thank Heather Begley for connecting us through Shoals Casa to have you on the program to talk about the Exchange Club of Florence, Alabama, and the prayer breakfast that's coming up on November 9th. Thank you, Mark. Thank you for having me, and I look forward to seeing you on the night. Absolutely. Folks, that's Burt Bretherick. He's with the Exchange Club of Florence, Alabama. We appreciate him joining us here on the Mark White Show today. Again, go to exchangeflorence.org on the website or give him a call at 256-648-3470 either to become a member of the Exchange Club of Florence, Alabama or to find out more information about the One Nation Under God Prayer Breakfast taking place with Brody Croyle as the speaker November 9th at Marriott Conference Center. When we come back, we're going to have a special dedication to Betty Lynn, who played Thelma Lou on The Andy Griffith Show. I hope you'll stick with us. You are listening to The Mark White Show, and I'm your host, Mark White. Who live and love in my hometown? Ah, these are my kind of people. Located in Tuscumbia, Alabama, the Alabama Music Hall of Fame honors Alabama's music achievers. You can even go into the recording studio and try out your talents as a singer. That's the Alabama Music Hall of Fame located at 617 Highway 72 West in Tuscumbia, Alabama. Open Tuesday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Give them a call at 256-381-4417. Check them out on the web at alamhof.org. With a house surrounded by pine trees planted in 1961, April and I knew it was time to do something about it. So we called James Paul. With over 25 years in the business, James Paul Tree Service offers their knowledge and experience, along with honesty and dependability, which gives you peace of mind when it comes to tree removal, tree cleanup, and clearing. Give James Paul a call at 256-777-0711. Before they fall, give James Paul a call. Boutique Air in Muscle Shoals, Alabama offers direct flights to Atlanta and Pensacola. Boutique Air service runs twice daily, seven days a week, with fares starting at $59. Follow Boutique Air Muscle Shoals on Facebook at Boutique Air MSL and book your flight through BoutiqueAir.com. 
Boutique Air. Where you can fly private for the cost of commercial. Is it time for a haircut? Go see my friends Philip Butler and B.H. Parker at Southwind Barbershop, located at 1637 Lee Street in Rogersville, Alabama. Give them a call at 256-247-5658. That's 256-247-5658. On Saturday, our friend and America's sweetheart, Betty Lynn, passed away. As most of you know, Betty Lynn played Thelma Lou on The Andy Griffith Show. During my first year of The Mark White Show, I had the opportunity to interview Betty Lynn from her home in Mount Airy, North Carolina. One of the questions that I asked her was how she wanted to be remembered. As we close out today's show, I wanted to share that message with you. I never thought of it. Well, I don't really expect them to remember me. I mean, I'm not that important in people's lives, but, well, if they do, I hope they'll say a prayer for me. Yeah, I'll just ask them to do that. That's all. You're such a lovely person, and I appreciate you being willing to do an interview with me today. Oh, thanks, Mark. Well, I'm just grateful you wanted to do it. And, you know, tell your family I send my love, and I'm so glad that I had a chance to meet them. Today's show is dedicated to Betty Lynn, also known as Thelma Lou, from The Andy Griffith Show. You have been listening to another edition of The Mark White Show, and this is Mark White encouraging you to find your purpose by making a difference in someone's life today. Today.